Hello and welcome friends. The next lecture and further discussion about some important formula in case of queuing theory or queuing models, position and exponential single server model. The next topic is expected or average or mean number of customers in the system. How to calculate? mean number of customers in the system first of all what do we mean by mean or average number of customers in the system see this is a sketch of the system with single server and number of customers in the system means the customer or customers being served as well as in the queue and someone joining queue, someone going out, etc. Total number of customers in the system. The formula is very easy. Total number of, rather average number of customers in the system. The sign normally we use is LS or whatever sign you use according to suggestion by your teacher or your reference book, anything. So LS, the logic is, it is the ratio of utilization ratio to idle ratio now we are well aware that utilization ratio that is rho and idle ratio 1 minus rho we are again well aware that it is lambda upon mu divided by 1 minus lambda upon mu again let us simplify it lambda upon mu divided by what is the simplification of 1 minus lambda upon mu lambda into 1 uh, mu into 1 mu minus lambda upon mu since this is division we have to multiply it with by its uh, inverse so it will be lambda upon mu multiplied by mu upon mu minus lambda so we can now cancel mu and mu so ultimately the formula of ls or expected or average or mean number of customers in the system comes to lambda divided by mu minus lambda actually we don't require to study this type of derivation of formula but since it is a very brief derivation as well as it is very simple and the most importantly this is the first formula we are discussing my intention is very clear I suggest you a formula or rather I want to suggest you a formula in which we can directly use the statistical values of lambda as well as mu so on the basis of the question you just need to arrive at the correct values of lambda and mu from the question because my first intention is to prepare or rather to help you to prepare for examinations yes so in any examination with very short stipulated period of time you can easily calculate all these things if you know the formula which can in which you can substitute the values of lambda as well as mu directly so this is a very simple derivation and ultimately now we have a formula of mean or expected or average number of customers in the system that is lambda divided by mu minus lambda that's it thank you